We launched Project Alive in June 2015, and it's a social media-based fundraising and awareness campaign to fund gene therapy research in Hunter Syndrome. It's based on an experience with my son's kindergarten teacher. She sent home a picture and it said, when I grow up, and he was holding a chalkboard that said fireman, that he wanted to be a fireman. And I, all I wanted was for him to be alive, to grow up. And that kind of resonated with me for a couple years. And finally I said, you know, we need to do something with this. And this resonates with people who want to see their kids grow up to be something that they dream about. So we connected with a filmmaker and filmed a two minute video featuring kids with Hunter Syndrome and kids from my community in Thompson Station, Tennessee, telling what they wanted to be when they grew up. And they want to be things like a, a basketball player or an actress or a businessman or a radio host. But the boys with Hunter Syndrome just want to be alive. And I think that resonates with people. And so we engaged in a campaign to to raise awareness about Hunter Syndrome, but also to raise funds to support our gene therapy project. So we're close to a clinical trial, but um, if, you know, if we got enough people to just give a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, you know, we could fund what is in essence a cure for Hunter Syndrome. The interesting thing is that it's the creativity that is inspired by being pressed by death basically. You know, when you look death in the face and say, I'm going to do something about this, you tend to think outside the box. So it's, it's really exciting and we've generated a lot of celebrity support for that. But we, we even have more things coming down the pike. So actually, I uh, wrote a song with a number one songwriter in Nashville called Alive and that's going to be released sometime this fall. Uh, it's been recorded already. And so we're really excited about that because being from Nashville, uh, it's a country song. Um, you know, that's, that's an exciting thing and we're hoping to get radio airplay. And, and it's really, um, when you hear it, it's applicable really to all childhood rare diseases because, you know, we watch them and want them to grow up and it's not singular to Hunter syndrome.